Do you like ice cream? Let me share my ice cream story with you. It was the warmest day of Irish summer and you know how rarely we get this, right? I was working in a multinational tech company in Dublin as a software engineer. And my employer invited an ice cream man to let everyone enjoy the ice cream and the nice weather outside. The thing is that it was the first day of Ramadan and I was fasting. It didn't bother me at all. I'm used to it and you know people eat beside me that's completely fine and I was working away as usual in front of my PC. One of my teammates passed by me and uh, he said Furkan go and get your ice cream and he was so excited he didn't want me to lose this opportunity that if it was gone I would be missing it. Then I told him that you know what it's Ramadan and I'm fasting that's fine thank you so much for thinking of me. And then you know we started the conversation when did the Ramadan start not even a water and all these you know information that people are curious about. It took about like maybe five minutes we were standing and we were chatting away. Later on another teammate of mine was passing by and uh, he said the same thing. Furkan, go and get your ice cream before it's gone. And uh, I told him as well that, you know what, it's uh, Ramadan and I'm fasting, blah, blah, blah. So the same conversation started with another, with another person. And a few minutes later, and another person, my manager actually came down and he, he said, Furkan, everybody's out, you know, go out and get your ice cream. And uh, I said, I'm fasting. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And uh, thanks to my team members that they have been asking about this to me as well. But I'm fasting. Maybe I can enjoy it another time. So what happened as a result? At the end of the day, because of the sunshine that we rarely get in Ireland, and because of the ice cream, uh, when when was outside, people were, you know, chatting in the queue, enjoying the sunshine, you know, getting something nice, which is, you know, just outside of uh, what a usual day would look like in the office. So everyone's le energy level went up, but mine went down. Why? It's not just because of I didn't have the ice cream. I could have ice cream in the evening or any other day. That's completely fine. But the thing is, I had to explain myself to so many people that afternoon and it made me feel like the company that I worked for didn't care about me and my choice and they didn't even bother checking out the day if it was suitable to invite an ice cream man and if anybody is practicing fasting. For example, if they knew it, I know they would change it in a heartbeat, but I wasn't going to be uh, battling people's reaction to ice cream man or uh, their excitement. They didn't have a clear communication channel to bring up issues like this to them. And most organizations still now don't have a clear communication channel. For example, if it's a text message, people can bring up any issues that they have in their mind or would this be something like an email people basically don't know what to do in these type of situations and my team members they were so kind and they were really caring about me uh, they told me that they either I should email to HR or somebody to my, tell my, my manager of course I wasn't gonna do that and they said they would like to do it and I said, of course, I don't want you to do this either. You see, these stories got hidden and not even being shared anywhere else unless I started, I had the courage to talk about it. And again, Ramadan is coming and uh, it is the 11th of March is the first day of Ramadan. And these things are gonna be happening, I'm sure, all over the world in different so many different workplaces so let's make sure that we have a clear communication channel for our employees doesn't matter what they are really requiring 
And on the other side, let's give people the space to be who they are. And I would like to share another insight from my own experiences that when I when we were going through my performance review with my manager, he told me in those dates I was best performing and the number of tickets that I result was the highest. And it led me to think like, you know, what was the time that I was, you know, what was I doing actually during this time? And it was actually Ramadan time. I couldn't believe. And I said, oh, really? I thought that I was tired. I thought that I'm not per performing. I, I was feeling a bit more uh, imposter. But you know what? I performed at least that I could have seen twice in a row that I performed my best in the workplace despite I was fasting, despite I had lack of sleep because I could be, I could demonstrate who I was as a person in the workplace as well. So I hope this gives you uh, as some insight, a better understanding of people, doesn't matter what differences, what type of needs and requirements they have. But it's an opportunity to see and reflect how could you practice inclusion in a better level.